Hey everybody, it's Missy. Thanks for joining me today. I'm so excited to be the guest designer over at Pretty Little Studio this month, and I have four projects that I created for them. This is the first one. I was asked to create a page about myself, and so I'm going to be using this black and white picture of me. And I picked a lot of bright things to use for this layout. Most of this came from the Here Comes the Sun collection, and it's all these beautiful, bright watercolor looks. I love these designs, and I was first immediately drawn to this crisscross X paper. It looks like it's been cross-stitched, and I've been really inspired by Paige Evans lately and all of her hand-stitching, and so I decided to hand-stitch over this sheet of paper and these are all six by six papers and so I just took a little thumbtack that I have on my desk and poked some holes in all these X's and I'm going to come in with some matching thread and hand stitch through all these X's you can see there I've got all of my holes poked through and I'm just going to do a simple I guess you could say cross stitch I'm not familiar with all the correct terms of stitching uh, but it's pretty easy here and I've chosen a couple different shades of yellow, a couple different shades of pink, and I think two shades of orange. And I just take some time. This did take a little while, but I like the way it turns out in the end. And I think it gives some really cool effects to the layout, some really fun colors, and some texture. And it's not in any specific shape. It's just sort of, you know, a random bunch of X's and that's okay with me. So I'm going to take some time. I'm not going to make you watch me do this entire sheet here, but I just wanted to show you how easy this is. It just takes patience and some time. So if it's something that you want to do, I highly recommend it because it makes your layouts look really cool and uh, it's a great way to get texture and lots of fun color. So I'm just going to keep on stitching and um, I'm going to keep on stitching. I thought I would be done, but nope, I'm still going. <laughs> now I've got the pinks going. The back of this is a hot mess because I'm kind of going all over the place. I tried to do all of one color at once, but then I went back and did the same color in other places. And you don't see the back anyway, so that's not important. Okay, so I'm done with it. I love how this turned out. I love all the different colors. Very, very cool to the touch. So now what I'm going to do is fussy cut this shape out. And I'm going to use it just like that on my page. And like I said, I'm okay with it not being a specific shape. You know, it's not a heart. It's not a circle. That's okay. I like the fact that it's random. And I just have some plain white cardstock on my background at this point. And my first thought was to use that really pretty pink six by six square with the white circle and I was just going to kind of use the stitched part as a layer it reminds me of a map of a state but uh whatever shape it is I'm going to use it so I'm going to wind up changing my idea here but right now I'm going to go with this watercolor pink paper and when I was asked to do this guest design position they let me choose which items I wanted and I was really excited about that because I've had my eye on this collection for quite a while and it's oh I love it so so pretty I love all of these hot air balloons so I took some time away and changed my mind so I removed the pink piece and I'm gonna go in with this piece and this is a really pretty light kind of a sky I've got some sky some clouds and the Sun and I'm going to come in now with some gesso because I'm going to jazz this up with even more blue. And I'm just going to smudge right over this piece of paper. And if you've ever worked with any of these pretty little studio papers, you know that they're pretty thick. They're not like, um, like cardstock or, or uh, thinner pattern paper. They're pretty thick, so they're pretty sturdy. So I'm going to come in with my shimmers and do what I usually do with the packaging. And I'm just going to come over with my Ginny B Blue Vibes and the Well Blue Me Down colorings. I'm going to kind of mix those together to create a little bit of a darker teal there. Um, I wanted a little bit different color that's in the sky. 
because the skies are really light blue and I wanted some different blue shades since I've got so much pink and yellow because just about everything else I'm going to use is pink and yellow with a little bit of orange. So I had to add in my other favorite color which is blue. And with my picture being black and white, it's really going to pop against all of those colors in the background. And I'm just going to go back and forth and work with splattering, with packaging, uh, with these two colors here. And just keep working at it until I get it just like I want it. So now I'm going to come in and play with these die cuts. Now if you've seen this collection then you know that there's a couple of different ranges in it. And I've also got some clouds over there. That is from another collection and I have forgotten the name of it. But it's a bunch of beautiful watercolor clouds. And I'm going to add in one of those just because the color looks pretty with it. And I'm going to change my mind here on a couple things as I go. But like I said, this is just a matter of playing around, pushing around all these different shapes to see what you like and see what looks good where. So I decided I need more of the shimmers over there on the upper right. So I'm going to do that with the same colors that I used before. And you know, I've said this before, but you don't have to use gesso. I prefer to use it because it thickens up, well not thickens up, but it adds a layer to your background and it primes it. And so when you start to use sprays or gelatos or anything like that, it just makes it blend a little bit better and it makes it smudge a little bit better and uh, it doesn't immediately seep right into your cardstock and just gives it a different look. But you certainly don't have to use it. It just gives you a different look. Now this little pack of die cuts has hot air balloons, it has a couple of words, it has hearts, it has clouds. There's also some flair. Love it. So I decided to change my mind again and I went with this butterfly and it's already got some watercolor on it. It comes just like that and it was the perfect color and I kind of like the way it's it kind of blends into the background but you can still tell what it is. And then I got the idea that I needed some vellum. I needed something to kind of cover up all that stitching. Not all of it, but some of it to kind of tone it down. And so I just grabbed a piece of vellum from my stash and hand cut another cloud. And I'm just going to layer it in. And for a while, I don't know if I like that because the vellum looked kind of gray. But I just felt like that was so much stitching coming at me. It was uh, almost kind of too busy. And so I wanted you to be able to see it, but I wanted to tone it down a little bit. And so that's why I do that. And I add more to it. I think it, it works out in the end. And now I'm going to come in with some of these hot air balloon stickers. And um, I'm just going to start layering in things. I did all that hand stitching. I don't want to cover all of it up. But some of it does get covered. And that's okay because you can still see most of it. And uh, even though some of it's toned down, you can still see the outer edge of it. And it's still very bold and bright. So I'm going to use some hot air balloons. I'm going to use that butterfly. I'm adding in some of that darker pink thread that matches the thread of the dark pink in the stitching. And right now I tuck some yellow thread under there on the right, but I'm going to come back in and change it and add blue. Since I've got lots of pink and yellow over there on the right, I felt like I needed a little pop of blue. And you can see that a little bit better up close. And that's some yellow thread on the right. Now that I've got everything kind of like like uh, where I want it, I'm going to go ahead and start to glue some things down because I know right now if I move it, I'll never get it back to where I had it. And so, yeah, gluing down that stitching part was tricky because it was dimensional because it had so much thread on the back. Um, I didn't need to add any foam to it or anything like that. I am going to add a little bit to the right side of my picture since, I'm sorry, the left side of my picture. Since the right side of it is on top of the stitch part and it's raised up a little bit, I didn't want half the picture to be sagging down. 
And I did add a little random tab on the left that also came in my goodie box. And I do not know what collection that was from, but it was the perfect yellow and I just liked the way it looked. It just added a little something to the left of the picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing down these clouds. I'm gonna add a couple of pieces of foam to the white ones and then layer the pink one under the one cloud there. I love how everything looks watercolored. And I love that word shine. I love that it's got yellow, orange, and pink in it. And I wanted to bring in some orange over to the left. Now I know it's hard to tell in this light, but a lot of those X's in the stitching are orange. And so I wanted to bring in some orange over to the left. So that little sheet of washi tape has some orange on it. And then I'm gonna use that word shine over there on the left. And the H part has orange on it. This is another little goodie that I got in my box of stuff to use, and it's a little sticker sheet. It's got fun little sayings on them, um, you know, general type things. And then that little flare is light blue with a white heart. I'm going to add some yellow thread under it. You know, and I love how this layout is kind of random. Um, like the stitching shape is totally random. The hot air balloons and the butterfly really don't have anything to do with each other. And I'm okay with that. I strictly fell in love with this because of the colors and I think it's beautiful. And um, I was bound and determined to use a lot of these pieces together simply because of the watercolor and the colors themselves. It just looks so pretty together. And I wanted to do a lot of layers. So I added more splatters. Um, I did, oh, I forgot to mention, I did do some white stitching around the square, the background piece of six by six paper, just for some added detail. So I'm gonna do a little bit of work down here at the bottom and I'm gonna add another strip of washi tape. It's light pink stripes and then I'm going to add some more hearts down here at the bottom. I just wanted something whimsical and fun and I think that's what I got here. Um, this was really fun to put together. I was very inspired by all of these colors and the watercolor look. I think this was the perfect collection for me to use. For someone who loves watercolor and mixed media, I could not have asked for better products to use. And I have three more layouts coming up using more of this collection and some other things from some other collections from Pretty Little Studio. So I wanna thank them for inviting me for this month because I have had a great time. So there's the final layout. Absolutely love how this came out. I added some journaling and the date, but that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was super fun to put together. I really, really am having a good time playing with their goodies. So make sure you check out Pretty Little Studio if you have not already, and stay tuned for a few more uh, videos and layouts. I have three more coming, so make sure you stay tuned. And let me know if you have any questions about anything that I did here today. And thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you have a great day.